Richard Gere's band is called Roxette. Yeah, he played keyboards. <laughs> that whole acting thing wasn't his real job. He plays keyboards. <laughs> <laughs> With his pet gerbil. Uh, that was uh, that was debunked, I think. That his pet gerbil played keyboards. Well, I mean, like if you were to ask anybody one like fun fact about Richard Gere, they're always like gerbil, gerbil, gerbil. But like really. I think the most interesting thing about him was he played keyboards for Roxette. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. That's my favorite part about and, Richard Gere. But what's not really well known about him is that the whole time he was playing keyboards for Roxette, he had a gerbil in his ass. <laughs> <laughs> That's the least known thing about Richard That's Gere. That's the least known thing you about him. You always knew about the gerbil, but you never knew the context. Right. And actually, uh, I think Gere was his stage name. Like... His real, like, family name was something like Richard. There's always a gerbil in my ass. I think, yeah, I think he's Polish. They made him change it at Ellis Island. Yeah, they were like, there's no way. Risky biscuit. <laughs> Damn it, Logan, we're having a fucking discussion. <laughs> Rude. Rude. Well, I... <laughs> not a gerbil to be found. Well, I mean, just because you can't see the gerbil doesn't mean it's not there. <laughs> doesn't mean it's up. The keyboard is from Roxette's ass. <laughs> oh man, God. are we still on the front page? <laughs> <laughs> not after that comment. Yeah. Oh, because Richard Gere works for Twitch. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't ever listen to NXS? So we should do that song that's like, The gerbil inside, the gerbil inside. Every, Every single one, one of us, the gerbil inside. inside. <laughs> <laughs> that's where all our power derives, from the gerbil inside. I'm not familiar with that song. <laughs> Can we talk about one why us. one would put a gerbil in their ass? Like, what's... Pleasure! <laughs> really? Don't knock until you try. Yeah, oh, you've, you've never been. I don't want to knock until I've tried. <laughs> oh, that. you've never been. <laughs> oh, you've never <laughs> no, you, been. you must go. <laughs> I made a guy hate me and become uninterested in my mom, in my mom, because I was drunk and called him Pirate Ted all night because of his shirt. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Hell yeah. <laughs> you every fourteen-year-old boy's hero. <laughs> yes. Took it yes. right to the jugular, man. <laughs> Take that pirate chat or whatever the fuck your name was. Yeah, that's right. Get out of here on your moped. I think I think cockblocking your mom is definitely uh, within Risky Biscuits' uh, values. Core, core, <laughs> values. Core, values. <laughs> core values. Core values, yeah. Get fucked, dead. <laughs> cockblocking your mom. <laughs> yeah, you can put that in our Risky Biscuit values block. <laughs> cockblocking your mom. We need to figure out how to put that in our mission statement. Uh, that should definitely be a shirt. <laughs> it should be a shirt. It says, Risky Biscuit Band, cockblocking your moms is 2022. <laughs> Core value number two, gerbil consent. <laughs> we just have a we have a line of merch. It's just our core value line. Yeah. <laughs> Receive all down. of our core values on your favorite you piece of merch. Out. There's going to be hopefully, fingers crossed, 21 core values. Core value number three, oh, chow allowance. Yeah, they made <laughs> chow it. allow allow oh. the chow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You mean they turn the core values into a book? Get the, Get the book. book, dude. Core values NFTs, dude. Yeah. <laughs> We're just going to start selling values <laughs> with a non fungible token attached to them. No, that's great. <laughs> if you want this value back, Jesus, you got to buy it from me. <laughs> hey, you know that golden rule? It's just mine, bro. Things have changed a bit since you've been away. I bought Dave. that shit off of. Uh... <laughs> Things have changed a bit since you've been away, Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> bought that shit off of Danger Mouse. Anyway. <laughs> Yeah, you need five to seven core values. You can't have 21 core values. They'll never remember them all. they got to be outside the core. Extrenu to, extraneous values. You have to carve them into a tablet? Vestigible. <laughs> Vestigible. <laughs> Vestibules? Vestibules. Amazon has 20 core values. Who out there works for Amazon? Did yeah, they? well, you see how that worked out for well, them. Te oh, wait. Technically, us. we work for Amazon. So. Uh, we never got the memo. We, and technically, mm -hmm. Amazon's core value is clock blocking your mom. Right? <laughs> <laughs> if you think about it. Yeah, um, hey, think about it. And uh, Jeff... Jeff Jeff Bezos uh, allows the chow. 
<laughs> you heard it here first. Interdimensional. Tell him I said that. Do we really work for Amazon, or can I stop pissing in bottles back here? <laughs> They're starting to ferment. <laughs> Sir Broxton says, first, first time th- here, first thing said, cock, cock block your mom. mom. <laughs> welcome. Hey, welcome. it's the first yeah, time welcome. we said it. Welcome. Yeah. It's yeah. one of our core values. It is one of our core values. <laughs> and now it's one of your core yeah. values. <laughs> yeah, now you know, <clears throat> since you're part uh-huh. of the crew. Yeah. If you beat Dog in a drum battle, he will accept one of your songs. <laughs> <laughs> and it better not be like fucking Cinderella or something. <laughs> <laughs> fucking winger. <laughs> Is that the song that goes, Cinderella, Cinderella, really? we yeah. got endless mozzarella. <laughs> we got gerbils in our belly. <laughs> Another core value uh, is endless uh, mozzarella sticks and breadsticks and salad. <laughs> we do weddings. Yeah, we'll play a wedding. Hell, we'll do divorces. We don't care. Yeah, yeah we'll, we'll show up to your divorce we'll party do, and play the we'll, shit out of we'll it. We'll do funerals and f- we'll play your murder. <laughs> <laughs> Won't tell nobody. What if somebody hired us for a wedding? We just sent four guys that look just like us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We sell our act <laughs> for like real giggers, you know? Yeah. <laughs> core value number four, we'll play your divorce. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> Dude, you're killing it. You're, I could tell you're getting fucking super steady on the. Uh... I'm engaging the wrong muscles, really. <laughs> is, is that how you're doing it? Yeah, it's all groin. <laughs> <laughs> I play a double kick with my dick. <laughs> That's the double dick pedal. That's uh, core value number seven. <clears throat> <laughs> Play, Play the kick, kick with, with a, a dick. dick. <laughs> <laughs> Write it down. <laughs> Carve it into the tablets. <laughs> What's up, monkeys and men? How's it going? All right, let's play this. I thought it was Monkey Sandman too. <laughs> monkey Sandman. <laughs> yeah, I'll take Monkey Sandman for one hundred. <laughs> That's monkeys and men. Monkey Sandman. <laughs> it's a less popular Spider-Man villain. <laughs> Oh man, call Monkey Sam. Did you ever read the Monkey Spider Man series? He fought Monkey Doctor Octopus, Monkey Doctor Doom, <laughs> Monkey Sam Man, Monkey Venom. Can any youngin explain yeet to me? Yeeting something is just throwing it. Yeet! You yeet it. Yeah. yeah. But That's, you can that. also use it as a slang word for like. To the window! For confusing old people. To the <laughs> <laughs> Core value number eight, risky biscuit. Uh, confusing old people. <laughs> Confuse, uh, as, confuse as much as you can. As, as much as you can. can. They deserve it. They had it too good for too long. <laughs> they had it too good for too long. Yeah. Enjoy your hemorrhoids. <laughs> Yeet is the antonym of yoink. <laughs> it's true, though. I think his name is Johnny Resnick. That sounds familiar. Is that, is that what his name is? Yeah, Resnick. yeah, Trent Resnick's cousin. Yeah. He also plays on a 12-string, too. Marvin yes. Resnick. Marvin. <laughs> hey, it's your cousin, Marvin Resnick. Um, there's another song, too, that was uh, on Dizzy Up the Girl that was called uh, Black Balloon, and that song is really good. Oh, that song about uh, hiding uh, a heroin-filled balloon up your butt? <laughs> well, it was more of a gerbil, but... <laughs> heroin. A heroin-filled gerbil? <laughs> yeah, dude. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking it's some an expensive dude, habit, dude. dude Peter, Peter's coming to get you. That's Can before you... they before they name the band uh, Goo Goo Dolls. It needs to be Doo Doo Balls. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Colonel Kooks, thank you for the Next 300 bits. Doo Doo Balls. All right. Uh, Guys, also, if send we're ever going to make the, the City of Angels bits. soundtrack, oh, we need to change our band name. A Meg co- Ryan's not going to like this. <laughs> a, a cousin called uh, <laughs> a, a boy called Doo. <laughs> <laughs> All right, play Logan. Oh, that's a Mellotron. Ba, Mellotron ba, ba, was ba, like ba, the ba, least ba, ba, productive ba, ba, ba. transformer. <laughs> They're like, oh, Mellotron, why don't you join Murdertron and kick him in the balls, Tron, for this, for this raid we're going on. It's like, ah, man. Come on, man, man, man. I'm chilling, bro. He just transforms into a chaise lounge. <laughs> Mellotron, never fucking helpful, dude. Come on, <laughs> Mellotron, we're trying to battle. Put down the hacky sack. <laughs> yeah, it goes away. Oh, there's more of nothing in my life. You best get the fuck up out my face. <laughs> you best get the fuck up out my face. You know I'm all about their personal space. <laughs> Rashad with no beanie is not as good as Rashad with <laughs> beanie. What? 
<laughs> you heard him? <laughs> I, do I have to repeat that? <laughs>